Hello, I'm Kevin. Welcome to Wild Coffee Homestead. Today I'm uh, in project mode. <laughs> I'm going to build for Bonnie a, a table. We're going to incorporate that big old-fashioned cast iron sink and she'll have her own potting table, wet table outside that she can use for whatever projects her little heart desires. So right now I'm building the, the stringers and the legs and then we're going to take it over uh, behind the house and we'll put it together. Why don't you join me? Just talking about it you saw Otto my son-in-law helped me put the sink on the table uh, this came from his grandmother's house his grandmother's house was built in 1920 so as far as we know this is the original this sink is a hundred years old can you imagine anything today lasting a hundred years um, I gave it some thought and I was I'm just thinking things weren't made a hundred years ago with the idea that they would be disposable. That that was something that uh, occurred later in our manufacturing process. A um, hundred years. And it's still got life. And it's beautiful. And we're going to enjoy it out here on the potting table. Alright, it's time to do some plumbing. And what I did is I brought water supply in from under the house and we have pecs under the house so I tapped into that brought some CPVC out here have both a, a hot and cold side on the same cold side so we just have cold water out here obviously and then I brought an inch and a half pipe and it goes underneath the house but then it goes back out and into one of our gardens so we're gonna give it some gray water uh, potting potting table water and uh, it'll, it'll water some lilies and things that are there. So we're not wasting any. And then my sweet Bonnie doesn't have water spill out on her feet when she's working at the potting table. So that's the plant and that's the plumbing. So that's where we're at, plumbing time.
morning. Today's an exciting day. This journey has been long, but it's been fun. About two years ago, we inherited this beautiful cast iron sink. And my heart just went pitter patter when Kevin brought it home. And I've been dreaming for two years, two years, not four years, two years of what that might turn into. We didn't really have a place that we wanted to put it. Didn't really have a plan for what purpose or what it might look like. So as time went on, it kind of unfolded on its own. And uh, the vision that I had is absolutely nothing compared to what Kevin's created this to be. I'm so blessed to have a husband that uh, has a vision and can just uh, create magically. Uh, so talented, so creative. So I want to share with you, it's not totally done. This is, we're gonna call it phase one. Um, we have a spring garden project that's uh, demanding our attention right now. So we're gonna kind of stop on this project for now, but it's functional. So I'll be able to get my seeds planted on the potting bench and um, just want to show it to you. And we're gonna accessorize it today and put all the little tools and the little pretties to go on it. So come on along with me and we're gonna have some fun. So first I'm just gonna show you what it looks like before we put anything on it. I wanted to have a rustic finish on the top. The boards that Kevin used were already painted a green so I just wash them with red paint, the same as we have on our exterior doors. Look at that beauty. And then we created this little shelves over here. And a cute little rake. And I made a homegrown sign to go on it. That was a fun little project. I believe Kevin used cedar for the um, the sign and the shelves, so they'll hold up real well. And then I just whitewashed them. This will eventually have doors on it. Kevin had mentioned possibly using cedar to trim the doors, and then using old um, distressed pin as the inserts. So that'll be fun. And then it'll also have a shelf along the bottom. But for now, we're going to use it as is and enjoy it. So because this is outdoors and the weather will affect what we have out here, I just got some uh, mason jars with the self-seal lids on it to put things in. So I got some twine in here, my uh, garden markers, Sharpie in there. This one I have some seeds and I have several pairs of gloves because when you're pot using a potting bench, you're going to need gloves. And this one I have little towels, hand towels. I went to the Dollar Tree, got the cutest little uh, cotton towels that have little peas on them. It says, oh snap. So I thought, well, how appropriate is that? So I have eight of them in there because I have a feeling we'll go through them pretty quickly. We're just going to set these over here. I've been collecting stuff from around the house and then the barns and all sorts of things. Found a cute red little half gallon watering can. Just have a little glass ceramic pretty put up here. Kevin discovered these garden tools. Old, nice, he was gonna clean off the rust. I said, oh no. Leave the rust, that's the patina. I love rust. Hang these on our little rake hook here. Cute little plant mister. Looks kind of vintagey. the cutest little girly garden tools on Amazon. It just has the prettiest little gift box. I have a feeling these will stay put. They look pretty obviously like they belong on a potting shed, a lady's potting shed, or potting bench, I should say. 
got the little fork, little clippers, and of course the little spade. But that would make a great gardening gift. We'll put the link in the um, show notes. Very reasonable price too. And we have a nail brush because when we work outside, we've got to clean our nails and a little sponge. Put that over here in our little holder. Of course, we must have scissors. Measuring cups in case we're using some kind of uh, fertilizer, plant food, we can measure it out. And a little strainer. These are all plastic, which will do well outside. Uh, the strainer, if we go pick berries or anything in the garden, we want to rinse them, we can do that out here. And then a couple scrubber brushes, old toothbrush. So we'll have some hooks on the end over here. We're going to put those down there and see if we can get them to hang. This is so much fun. I'm so excited. Do you like it? I got some more stuff, so hang on. I had these cute little pots here. Um, just sitting to the side and I thought, wow, those blend perfectly over here. So I uh, put some succulents in them and give, give a little life to this potting bench. The fun part is when I walk outside from the porch here, it's up three foot. I can look down on the pretty potting bench every time I take the doggies out. Okay, let's go down to the end of the bench here and hang some stuff. I also planted some more succulents similar to the other little ones in this pretty little pot that I'm going to put down at this end of the potting bench. But I have some hooks here that we found somewhere along the way. I said, oh, keep those, or I think I don't know if it was a garage sale or we found them here on the property. But they reminded me of in my closet when I was a little girl. I used to have these hooks in my closet that I would hang my belts on or whatnot. So it's kind of a warm fuzzy. So we have these little hooks here that we can use for some of our tools. Hang them. They'll fit on there. Might have to make strings. Er, not quite. Tie some little strings to those. Yep, yeah, those aren't going on there. This one will go on there. The scissors will go on there. Put the toothbrush and the little holder in the sink. I'll, I'll just tie some, um, I'd like to get some leather, but for now maybe some uh, jute or raffia or something to, to hang these with. I thought that was real fun. And then these little hooks down here on the end um, were someone, uh, mom, asked if we could use them and I Kevin and I thought, ooh, I bet we could use those somewhere down the line. So we got these nice hooks here. You want to hang your uh, watering can on. So I think we are accessorized. I'm so excited. Now I'm going to get my seed starter. And I've already been picking out seeds. I ordered some seeds from uh, my gardener. And I'm anxiously waiting for those to get our garden going. So the next few videos you guys will probably see are of our spring garden coming together. Kevin's working on uh, putting a fence up and a gate and leveling it out and getting our raised beds in. So thank you guys so much for coming along on a special journey. Uh, it's definitely been a blessing to me seeing trash to treasure turn into such a beautiful workplace for a gardener. If you like what you're seeing, if you're enjoying our journey, uh, just hit the subscribe button, hit like, and we would much appreciate it. See you next time.